Thanks for tuning into my videos. I started making these videos. Um, I just actually, I'm about to pass my October 22nd is going to be two years since I was diagnosed with cancer. And I started making the videos, um, I guess a little over a year ago. I don't even know. I'd have to look on there, but I wanted to share like my whole cancer process and everything I was doing. And I started out naturally and then I moved into doing conventional treatments and then since that I'm pretty much past the cancer treatments and I um, just have reconstruction still that I'm dealing with and then I've been diagnosed with ITP which is thrombocytopenia and it's basically a platelet issue um, so I've just been like you know dealing with that and so a lot of my videos now have to do with ITP and a little bit less with cancer and I usually title them that way but um, yeah, this one is, I don't know. And then in this one, I'm also talking about some stuff with 23andMe and family stuff and DNA. And I guess I just use these as kind of a video blog, a vlog at this point. Um, and I just share because I know there are some people that just want to know what's going on. And it's a good way to share that. But yeah, I mean, when there's something cancer related to update, I will. And in the moment, I'm just really updating on my general health. So Yep, that's what this one's about. Thanks for watching and your interest and attention. Sometimes I have, I make videos without the intention of sharing them. I just think like if I die one day, I'm sure somebody will find them and maybe they'll be interesting. But, well, the thing I'm excited about right now, this color doesn't look good, is that I met this cousin of mine. She's a second cousin and she lives in Charleston. South Carolina and she's done a lot of work on family lineage family history stuff and I've learned so much about my mom's side of the family um, that I just I really know nothing about them and I think some of what I've known has not been like the full story and I can kind of understand why my mom and didn't really tell me a lot and maybe doesn't even know a lot because I had a really twisted um, grandparents. Well, actually her mother, she really has some stories. Oh my God. <laughs> it's pretty amazing actually. I don't really want to say what they all are now, but it's just so exciting for me because I just like I'm an only child and I hated being an only child well I probably liked it at some point I probably liked that I got to have everything myself and not have to share and whatever else I don't know but overall I think being an only child definitely has more disadvantages than advantages for sure but I also didn't really know any of my family because my mom like moved out to California from Pennsylvania and there was a big fracture when her dad died. And I guess he was quite the guy as well. <laughs> There's stories now and this cousin is telling me about these stories where he like, you know, just would sit at the table and not, not remove his hat. And, you know, we're talking like a lot of years ago, so this was very impolite and very improper and very rebellious so um and these like you know they still have sayings left over from when he was around he died 40 years ago 30 years ago because I was a little girl so yeah I'm just I'm really excited and then on 23andMe 23andMe is updated some of their findings with the DNA so I actually it got, it got more specific. Um, I knew I had a lot of Italian. I've got like 38%, I'm 38 or 39% Italian. Um, and then Balkan, I knew that, but it also now has Greek in there, which I guess makes sense because Balkan and Greek are kind of one in the same, not really, but in the same area. And then also Ukrainian, like before it just said broadly Eastern European, but now it actually says Ukrainian and I think where else yeah mostly the Ukrainian it's like 8% or something and I'm wondering that's probably on my dad's side because I don't know anything about my dad's side I really would love both of my parents to do the, the DNA testing with saliva because it's really it's really fascinating I'm very interested in my history and lineage and the people who came before me and I don't even 
I don't feel judgmental about it. I feel curious and interested and I just want to know. I want to know what life was like. I want to know who they were and what they did. And I found a fourth cousin, I think, who's in the Bay Area. And I just, and another cousin um, in, also in South Carolina near Charleston. So, yeah, I mean, they're not, I mean, we share blood. And I find that I've wanted, I've wanted that my whole life. I've wanted to know who I share blood with. Um, now I'm finding it, so it's really exciting to me. And then on a health note, I I just got my blood checked. I just got a complete blood count, the CBC test at the oncologist office, and I'm going back right now to find out what my platelets are. Oh, I'm worried. I'm like, all I know is I just hope they're above 30. I really hope they're above 30. They were 27 last... Um, Wait, where am I? Oh shoot, I went one too soon. 27 on Friday, which was a week ago. Oh my gosh. And I've been taking a bunch of stuff. And I can tell they're, I don't know, they don't feel like they're crazy high, but they don't feel like they're that low either. I mean, I, I did bleed yesterday and the bleeding stopped. So obviously I have at least a platelet. I've been going so hard on wheatgrass and pomegranate kiwi and vitamin c and beef liver and just all of that stuff there might be even more i started taking an iron supplement again and i'm just trying to do whatever i can i probably need to start doing acupuncture and as i think back when i've gotten acupuncture before she's always strengthened my blood she's always put points on with the needles to strengthen blood and so i just Again, I just really think I've been dealing with a blood problem kind of my whole life, but it never, I don't, my platelets, you know, weren't that low, obviously, but um, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to find that out and I'm going on a drive. I'm going to a hot springs this weekend and taking my daughter. Um, I was invited, we were invited by a friend of mine from the Bay, which was a very generous offer. I'm super excited about it um, and I'm really nervous about the drive because it's about two and a half, three hours, so it's quite a distance. And I didn't realize just that I get nervous um, when I'm kind of like away from my local hospital. Isn't that crazy? And I'm nervous to just be kind of like out on my own without another adult who could... Um, well, I mean, obviously I'll have a friend there while I'm at Harbin. And if I needed to have some treatment or something, I could. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen, but... Just that drive, you know, instead of going on Friday night, I'm actually going Saturday morning because I don't want to drive at night. That scares me more. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I stopped taking the tamoxifen, and um, I feel like it was making me feel depressed, and I need to get my blood sorted out before I can take that stuff. I just, and plus I'm planning to get my ovaries out, most likely, um, in spring, unless I discover new information or for some reason change my mind on that but as it stands now so that would not have me be on tamoxifen anyway that would have me I'd have to be on like a postmenopausal drug um, but I want them to test my estradiol and the luteinizing hormone and the F -A -S -F -S -H. I can't remember what that one stands for at the moment but I mean that's how they measure the estrogen as far as I know so, and I really should be getting to a naturopath doctor, but it's just like, I don't know, everything costs so much. I've spent so much money on this stuff, and even buying pomegranate juice, I mean, it's so expensive. Wheatgrass is expensive. All of that stuff is really expensive, and of course, I want and need to do it, but the naturopathic doctors around here, it's like two to $300 for an initial visit. That's a lot. That's for one visit. So, yeah. The hip pain has gotten better. I've gone to two yoga classes, one of them in which ended up in, ended me up in the um, emergency department because I had that bruising on my knuckles. And so I decided like not to do that class anymore. But I went to a just regular 90 minute hot yoga and I really took it easy. I seriously took it easy and I didn't do anything that felt like, I don't know, it just didn't feel like a good idea. Like, there's a few poses where 
that I just decided not to do. One of them's camel, and it just like rushes the blood to your brain. And I thought, I don't know if r rushing blood to my brain is really a good idea anymore, given like the state of my blood. So anyway, it felt great, and I don't have the hip and knee pain, and I really am attributing that to having gone to the gym and going to yoga. So. I really need to get in there today or tomorrow because I do notice that um, when I don't get the exercise, that's when the pain really hurts. That's when it hurts. So, yeah, I mean, that's good news. It's good news that I'm feeling motivated to exercise. I think right now I need to eat something. I've had low blood sugar. Like, I get hypoglycemic. I've been like that for a long time. All these things with my blood, I never really never really thought about it never really like considered that I had an issue with my blood I mean when I used to get my period I um, I had really heavy bleeding and a lot of menstrual cramps and stuff and it never felt right but I just sort of like got through it you know I didn't really I did acupuncture and, and took some herbs and stuff but I never really had my blood like checked and I kind of wish I would have I wonder if I would have been able to discover some of these things. Hello, someone who's definitely not looking. Um, I wonder if I would have discovered these things sooner than I am, but who knows, right? It just like things don't always happen on our timeline, and we just do what we can do, and I'm doing what I can do. So I really want to get my blood situated before I can even address any more cancer stuff, and because I couldn't deal with the depression of the tamoxifen. I mean, that's not good, you know? It's, I was, I had issues with my emotional health when I was a teenager, when I was a preteen, actually, and I just don't, I just don't want to have anything take me there unnaturally, you know? I mean, or naturally. I just, I'm not a depressed person. That's just not in my makeup, so having something give that to me, that feeling. I'm like, oh, this is horrible. So, yeah, these are the things I think about on the day-to-day. -day. My my resale business is going well. Uh, I'm selling. There was a major snafu that happened on eBay, though. Wow, there's only one parking spot, and it looks small even for my car. Um, and it kind of, like, set me back, and I didn't have sales for a day or two, but I just sold a couple things. I'm really excited. I sold these pair of um, Ferragamo shoes, and I found them, and I was so excited to find them. And they didn't sell for as much as I wanted them to, but they did still sell for a lot. So having a lot of fun with that, I'm really enjoying enjoying that. It's something fun to do with my time. Okay. All right, I should probably focus here. <laughs> I'm about... I'm about to meet with the oncologist and get the um, results of my blood. Where can I park? This is ridiculous. Um, so I'll just like update on that as soon as I know what my numbers are. They were 34 a few weeks ago, and then they were 27 Friday, and let's see what they are now. Well, my platelets are still in the toilet they're like 24 and I felt a little like oh, disheartened at first but then also my oncologist said that the bruising like the fact basically that I'm not bleeding from my mouth or nose or ears or eyes or urine or stool means that I'm not dealing with really low platelets so I don't really know that I completely understand what that means but <laughs> he said that the bleeding no the bruising isn't a function of ITP which I also don't understand how that's possible but um but okay so yeah I haven't had any bleeding and like I've you know the bruising I have on my arm from being in ER and then poking me with a needle um like that's healing up and I got stabbed by my cat on my leg and that's healing up and I cut my finger yesterday and it's healing up. So it's like, um, I guess it's just a matter more of like the platelets just go down quickly, but they were 27 a week ago and 24 today. So it must be the case that all the stuff I'm doing is keeping me kind of like at status quo. It's keeping it from dropping and, and dipping really far. 
um, I guess they could be a lot lower. And I've read stories about people that were down to zero or down to very few. And I definitely don't want to get, but it's not like if I get to zero, I'm going to die. So, um, I actually feel pretty good about it. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I feel good about going away for the weekend and driving three hours. I'm just going to do it during the daylight and drive, drive safely and get us there um, and take our time. And I think it'll be fine. I actually, yeah, I don't know why. I just feel better about it, I guess, just recognizing I'm not in a critical situation. And I know that my doctor is only a phone call or a text away, which is pretty amazing. I don't think everybody gets that gets that good fortune of having their doctor be so available to them so I'm really I'm really happy about that so yeah that's my that's my update and I'm going to be wearing a bathing suit maybe I'll share that um it has a place to put the the squishy booby thing in the mastectomy (laughs) bathing suit I think it's meant for people to like put in padded bras (laughs) but if you happen to wear a mastectomy form fakey falsy thingy like me then you can also like set that into those bathing suits too so yep that's what's up I'm excited hopefully I can go to the hot springs and just like not think about any of this and not just like completely relax and enjoy and it's really pretty weather right now so hopefully it'll stay that way so yeah I feel pretty good